Mabuhay! I am Rachel J.G. Basolo from Bachelor of Elementary Education. Do you want to know the history of our barangay? Tara, samahan niyo ako! Welcome to Barangay Santa Maria Isa Nicolás, the home of the famous trail here in Pangasinan, the Villa Verde Trail. Santa Maria Isa was headed by our Barangay Captain Milano Ramos. As of now, it has a total number of 1,357 registered voters. The name Santa Maria denoted from the treasured statue of St. Mary here in our Barangay. Santa Maria East is one of the 33 blue barangays of the municipality of San Nicolas. It is situated at approximately 16.0877 and 120.7903 in the island of Luzon. The elevation of these coordinates is estimated at 123.1 meters or 403.9 feet above mean sea level. The population of Santa Maria East grew from 1,145 in 1990 to 2,029 in 2020, an increase of 884 people over the course of 30 years. The latest census in 2020 denoted a positive growth rate of 2.28 or an increase of 206 people from the previous population of 1,823 in 2015. Santa Maria East shares a common borders with these barangays, namely Maliko, Pianza, Pakabugawan, Selinkob, and Santa Maria West. Our barangay is one of the most improved barangay in the town and the reason behind that is because there are different infrastructures, food court, and other establishment that was built due to the creation of Villa Verde Trail Road, which is the main thing in our barangay. This bridge where I am stepping at is called as Villa Verde Bridge. The economic development of San Nicolas was traceable by Camino de San Nicolas, which is popularly called as Villa Verde Trail now. The Villa Verde Trail was the main attraction for tourists and bikers because of its zigzag road and its beautiful and peaceful environment. Aside from the famous Valley Verde Trail, it was also full of breathtaking adventurous plays like Lippy Falls. It is an hour trail from the Red Arrow Monument along the Cabalitian River. It was the 1945 32nd Division U.S. Army Monument and it was established in remembering the battle between the American and the Japanese Army in Villa Verde Trail. But unfortunately, this old red iron monument is now broken. It has been moved by the road contractor to the left side of the Cabalitian River within the last two or three years during the new road and bridge construction. And also, our barangay is surrounded by the Cabalitian River, which is the home of the delicious fresh tiny fishes which is called as Buno. It provides the income of some family here in our barangay. Despite the beauty that our barangay has, it was once hit by many storms and disasters that shaped the peace of many families who lives here. A storm like the Undoy which flooded almost the half of our barangay and the July 16, 1990 earthquake, which struck the island of Luzon in the Philippines at 4.26 p.m. or 3.26 p.m. on July 16, with an estimated moment magnitude of 7.8 and a maximum of Mercury intensity of 9. With the trials and obstacles that our barangay faced, we became strong. We learned to strategize and eventually, those things led for some improvements of our barangay. And up to now, it is still improving. And this reminds of the quotation which states that 
there is always sun after the rain. Thank you very much. I hope you learned something from me today and God bless you all.